Duke beats Wake Forest 81 to 70 today. Mike Hogwood, Christy Winters, Scott with you. And I tell you what, though, Duke knew they were in a battle with Wake Forest, who showed a lot of heart, I thought, in this game. They did from the beginning. When Wake Forest came out of the gates with that huge lead, Wake Forest never gave in, and they kept fighting. They kept punching with number five Duke prevailing in the end with their execution. They jumped out to a 15 to four lead and then went down double figures twice in this game, and each time they were able to fight back. But the big news, Chelsea Gray, the star of this Duke team, goes down in the first half with a knee injury. It was a gruesome injury. She went down and just landed awkwardly and was screaming. It was really sad to see. But Chelsea hopefully won't be out too long for the Blue Devils. And another Chelsea, Wake's Chelsea Douglas, had a career day today. Well, she was insane from beyond the arc. She was five of seven from three. She had 24 points this afternoon and was a key reason why Wake Forest continued to fight. Well, each player, each team had a player with a career high. Douglas a career high, and Tricia Liston of Duke a career high 29 points. Well, Liston was also five of seven from beyond the arc. Her teammates did a tremendous job of finding her when Gray was out. They needed some more offense, and she provided it. And 81 to 70 is the final here, the final stats. Three point field goals, eight for Wake and seven for Duke. Well, the offensive rebounds, I think, were the difference inside. 18 to eight advantage there. And the bench scoring, 41 to four advantage. So the depth of Duke doing damage to Wake Forest. Now we're joined by Tricia Liston, who had a career high today, 29 points. Tricia, you were uh, feeling it off the bench today. Yeah, I mean, when Chelsea went down, I think that got a lot of energy for us. Um, you know, she's a big part of this team, and I love playing with Chelsea, and missing her out on the court kind of made me want it even that much more today. Well, what was said at halftime by Coach P in terms of missing a player like Gray on the floor? You know, we just weren't playing our way, even when Chelsea was on the court. And when she did go down, it was kind of a tough hit for us. She, Coach P just wanted us to fight back, fight back for our teammate, and fight for the way that we play and play Duke basketball. And that, that's what we did in the second half. And we noticed that uh, you took a lot of the ball handling responsibilities there when Chelsea went out. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I think last year I had to do it a little bit too with the shortages of numbers. And so I was pretty comfortable coming in and handling it and playing the point guard a little bit today. And Wake Forest came at you in waves down the stretch, tying it with just a couple of minutes to go. What was the force that helped you to hold on? I think it was just having focus and poise down the end. You know, our fans were great today and you know, the other team made big shots, but it was staying in our mentality and staying focused and executing down the stretch and coming up with some loose balls, some rebounds and hitting some big shots. You know, if, if you have to go on for without Chelsea Gray for a little while here, uh, is this team prepared for that? And I, I know you're one of the leaders. I saw you talking to some of the players. What do you tell the rest of your teammates now? Well, one thing for sure, you play for Chelsea. That's um, that's a given. That's a tough hit for anybody. Hopefully that's not the case for us, but I think if she if she misses a game or two, some younger players have to step up and, you know, we're going to have to fill some big shoes. So everyone's going to have to do their job. All right. Thanks a lot, Tricia. Great game today and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Yes, we see her leaning to the left, leaning to the right. She's always listening. 81 to 70, our final.